Have any of you ever been to a wedding where there wasn't a cake? Oh, no. no. <laughs> Every wedding has a cake, and the cake is almost as important as the wedding itself. Now, you can spend hundreds up to thousands of dollars on wedding cakes, depending on the design and how many people you need to feed. Well, I'm going to show you how to decorate a cake in four easy steps, and that is how to ice it, borders, roses, and design. First, to ice the cake, I like to use what I call a side icer. It gives you a smooth, even edges, and you just, well, you usually have to have a pedestal, but I didn't bring mine. So as you're twirling the cake, you run the icing bag around it, and that will give you a easier surface to work with on the side. I like to use what painters use to get the edges on painting. I don't know what you'd really call that, to smooth the side of the icing. So I hold it like this, and I run it around. It's going to give you a smooth finish. And the most important thing you want to make sure is that the top is even, because you're going to be putting roses on it, flowers, designs, and most people have like a figurine on there. So you want to make sure that it's as smooth as possible. <laughs> the next thing is the borders. I'm going to show you a few different borders that you can put on there depending on what kind, you know, people are going to give you an idea of what they want. I like to use a side swag, I guess you would call it. It's a swag border on the side. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to take, I use a wooden dowel and I just cut it off. They're like 29 cents at the craft store. And you're going to section off the cake. I don't know if you can, if everyone can see it. Maybe I can put it under here better. There you go. So you're going to want to do it evenly, um, depending on how many swags you want on the side. So you put it like this. I'm really shaking. I'm sorry. <laughs> like this, that, that. Even, even amounts. So for the side swag, I use a 16 tip. Looks like a star. I'm going to show you on my piece of paper. So after you have your indentations on the top, I always do like in the middle. Most people use round cakes for their wedding cakes, but there are people that use square or rectangle. Um, for the circle one, you're gonna wanna go down to the middle layer, there's a filling in this. So I always put it you know, in the middle of my indentations on the side of the cake so I know what to bring it down to, so it's gonna be even all the way around. So if you, this is the top of the cake, you're gonna wanna bring it down like this to the middle point and then bring it back up to the side. Next, I do the bottom border and the top border. I like to use 21. There's also a tip called 32, but it's gonna give you a bigger, a bigger um, shell is what it's called. And since this is like a top layer of the cake, it's an eight inch, I went with the smaller, smaller star. You always want to squeeze your bag, squeeze any air out because when you're doing, when since it's a wedding cake and you want it to look really good, you don't want to start going on it and then have the air go and splatter all over your cake. So that's what I do first. So just the regular star border is you're going to go up and pull it down like this. Up, pull it down. Can everyone see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's just a regular star border. For this one, I used a reverse. So I go this way and then this way, this way, and that way. That's what I chose to do on this cake. So I'm actually gonna, I already did the side borders and the bottom border, but I'm gonna show you how I actually do it on the cake. Once again, I squeeze it out. This way, this way, this way, and that way. So the next part of the cake is gonna be making the roses. Some people use a rose nail, which looks like a, like a nail like this, and then there's a flat part on the top. I choose to do it on a wooden dowel. I don't know why, that's just my preference. There's a couple different rose tips that you can use. I use tip 104, I think it's an even size. Now the trick to doing a rose is you want to keep it moving at all times and try to do it as quickly as possible so it doesn't fall off the whip. So first you want to make the center bud. And then you just do up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. 
and then all the way around. Beautiful. Thank you. And then I just use scissors, and then you can put, put it anywhere on the cake that you want. I'm going to do it off to the side like somebody's going to put figurines on it. And you can make it bigger or smaller depending on... Oh, sorry. That's awesome. Thank you. So if you want it bigger, you just... That is so cool. That is. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you just go up higher and bring it down. So you can see that's a little bit bigger. Beautiful. I'll do one more. Now, do you do different colors depending on what they want? I do. For my speech, I'm just doing white because it takes a lot, more, a lot, a lot more time, and I would have had to bring too much things. Oop! Went upside down. The next thing that you want to do for your roses is you want to put leaves on it. There is a leaf tip that you can use, but I just like to cut my bag into the shape of the leaf because it's easier, and then you can vary the size of the uh, leaf that you want to use without buying extra tips. So once again, you squeeze out your bag. Then you just go in between the roses, and you squeeze and just pull up. Beautiful. You can do different designs, too. I like to sometimes fan it out where if I put a rosebud... Then you can put the leaves, kind of just stand it out. My mom. And then I just kind of watch people. No, she didn't do any weddings. Yeah, yes. Then the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to do designs. Um, like I can show you here, you can do a heart design, dot, or stars. For this one, I'm going to show you how to do the heart design. You can do it on the side or the top. For the heart, you just you just go like this and like that. So it's basically just like two lines that you bring together. Thank you. Now that you've learned the four easy steps to doing a wedding cake, doing the icing, the borders, the design, and the flowers. Now you will be able to go home and make your own wedding cake. You can do it for family and friends and save them hundreds and thousands of dollars. <laughs>